Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a new feature of the Mavic 3 called Quick Transfer. That feature was first announced alongside the launch of the Mavic 3, but was only made recently available with the latest firmware update that came out yesterday. Now, Quick Transfer basically allows you to connect your tablet or smartphone directly to the drone without having to connect it to the remote first. And it allows you to transfer all the high-res content directly over to that mobile device using Wi-Fi 6 at blazingly fast speeds. In the past, you know, if you have quite a few large files on a drone that you're trying to transfer over Wi-Fi, it can be painfully slow. In fact, you can almost burn a whole battery trying to get all the content over. Now, this update isn't going to be super important to a lot of people, just for the fact that most people do their editing and content management on a computer or laptop. So in those instances, you're just going to be plugging the memory card directly into your computer. For myself, however, I am a mobile content editor and creator. I manage my complete digital portfolio with an iPad, iPad Pro to be exact. I edit all my content on an iPad, so it's very important for me to have convenient ways to get my content over. Now, I be it most of the time I do just take the memory card out of the drone and plug it into the tablet but sometimes when we're traveling I don't always have that uh, card reader with me so being able to get the content over quickly so if I want to do a quick edit or share something to social media it's just going to be a nice convenient way to do it. Now I'm not quite sure if this is available for Android yet. If you have an Android device let me know down in the comments if uh, quick transfer is working for you. Now the only reason I am mentioning that is because with the RC Pro it doesn't appear that that feature is active yet. And I'll kind of demonstrate that here in a minute as well. So basically to use it, all we have to do is power on the drone. Now it might get a little noisy here with the drone fan running, so just uh, bear with me. And again, we don't have to power on our controller. And all you want to do is launch the DJI Fly app. Right away you can see it comes up here, it says switch to quick transfer mode. So all we have to do is tap on that to enter the quick transfer mode. The first time you go into it, you're going to have to do a confirmation on the drone. It's going to ask you to press the power button for two seconds. That's just a one-time thing. Once you've done it once, you don't have to do it every time. So as you can see here, I'm going to click on switch. And what it's going to do, it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi that the drone is now broadcasting. It's a Wi-Fi 6 protocol, so again, it's very fast. When it's connected, you can see on the graphic here, it says view album, and it also gives us our battery percentage of the drone. So we can click on view album. And now here it's gonna list everything that we have on the memory card. Now, one thing that's really important to note is you can only transfer video files that are 4K and under. For example here, I'll just show you this one here is in 5K. You can see when I try to transfer it, we're going to get a message here it says unable to download videos in 5k or above so that is an unfortunate limit right now i don't know what the reasoning behind that is but hopefully that does change again with a firmware update because most of the filming that i do is in 5k 5.1k so that definitely is limiting but let's go to a 4k file here all we're going to do here is hit the download button and you can see we get a message where we want to save it to we can save it to the fly app or we can save it directly to our phone album and if you don't want to get that message every time, you can put a check mark in there. It says to remember your choice. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's downloading there now. And if we go over and we check the speed there, you can see it's downloading at 30. Well, it, speed keeps going up. But it's quite fast. Right now it's downloading there at 43 megabits per second. But I've had it all the way up to about 70. And this file that it's downloading right now is about 4 gigabytes. So as you can see there, in a matter of about 10 seconds, we downloaded a 4 gigabyte file. If we were doing that over traditional Wi-Fi before they release this update, you know, that would probably take us a good 10 minutes, maybe even a little bit longer. So at this point, everything we just downloaded is now going to be in the camera roll. The other thing you can notice there, we have that yellow lightning bolt. That's also signifying that we're in that quick transfer mode. And we can disconnect from quick transfer just by clicking on that. And now it's going to switch back to regular flight mode. So right now it's disconnected. And you can actually click that lightning bolt again and uh, that will reconnect to the drone. Now, as mentioned, it doesn't appear to be working on the RC Pro, and uh, it is a version of Android, so that's why I was wondering if it's even available for Android yet. So we'll go into the album here, and say we want to transfer the content from the drone over to the memory card that we have stored in the RC Pro. The thing you're going to notice right away, it didn't come up to connect via quick transfer. Even if we bring up the file, the same file that we were already looking at, there's no option for quick transfer. And when we go to download it, so it's going to download it to the uh, memory right now. If we go back and we check the speed, you can see there that it's only downloading at 4.5 megabits per second. So pretty slow. Well, folks, just a quick video on the new quick transfer feature. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.